<laughs> so you're the number one everywhere yeah. on all the charts. Wow, that's great. Yeah. E, those were the days, lad. Those were the days. Those were the days. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for helping convert the masses. Right. Yeah. That's classic. Classic. I guess we should take these up because they could do it wrapped a bit better. It was a rush wrap. Is that your first one? Yeah, it's the first one. And then this one it is. We only have got three. Three of the and one of the America. This was the Blurred Crusade. Wow. That was 82? 82. Yeah. The reason I'm taking them out here is because they're going to slip out if I don't. Well, here we go. Here's the American one. <laughs> half a CD million. and cassette, but it's 500,000 copies. Complete with cobwebs. That's great. That's struggle here. Well, it's this flicks between the flicks between the pickups. Oh, so it's like got, a five-way? Yeah, because it's got see, it's got that pickup in the middle. Yeah. As well, which isn't usually there on the yeah, Les Paul. That's cool. Yeah. So it's kind of different, and not not having the see, it's not been, it's not been. Um, it just came that way. Yeah, that's what it's I'm trying to say. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so there's no toggle switch there. So how did they give this to you, or how, no, how no, did I had you to buy, no, it, I was a went to a Gibson um, shop in London, and uh, all about Eve had some kind of deal. With, Julianne had some kind of deal with them. And I walked into the sort of shop in uh, London, and, and that was on the wall. And I sort of always wanted a Les Paul, and I saw that one, and it didn't have the switch on it. And I thought, well, that's and because it, it had the extra pickup. I thought, well, that's kind of interesting. So it, it cost me about five or six hundred quid at the time. It's probably um, it's probably worth a lot more now. Yeah, it's, I'm it's, sure. It's an absolute. It's one off. Yeah, it's gorgeous. You know. The, the the what do they call it tiring in there the yeah. wood is great yeah it's interesting that the humbucker company known for humbuckers puts in a, is that a single coil yeah that's right I bet that's an interesting sound it is because it it does things that other less pulls can't do yeah that's yeah. the thing about yeah. it which is what's interesting about it it's like the reverse of Eddie Van Halen because Eddie Van Halen put humbuckers in a Strat right oh yeah that's yeah, yeah, how yeah. he he got his thing. But this is putting single coils in a, in yeah, a Les Paul. Cool. So it's the opposite <laughs> thing. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, feel free to touch it if you want. <laughs> See, a real guitar player never grabs a guitar unless the, the owner says feel free to touch it. Yeah. That's heavy. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. A solid piece of mahogany. Yeah. yeah, it's gorgeous. It plays really well, you know. I use it. The thing is, just think about having different guitars. I mean, you know this. Different guitars do different things. I mean, I could use the same guitar for, I mean, I've got lots of great one-off guitars which I could use for everything. But then everything would be, that's the sound of that guitar. Yeah. But in, in, sometimes you just want to have that Les Paul scream, you know. Yeah. That you can't get yeah. out of a Strat or a Rickenbacker. You certainly can't get it out of a Rickenbacker. Yeah. It's just a different different sound and uh, also I always find that guitars depending on what kind of guitar it is it makes you approach what you're playing differently you know you don't pick up a, a, a guitar and necessarily tell the guitar what you want to do the guitar tells you what to do yeah that's how I see it. I mean, obviously you have your idea, but then you, you, when you sort of, it's a, I mean, it's a symbiotic relationship, uh -huh. you know? Uh -huh. And so the guitar and you work it out together about the best way of approaching the idea. I love that that's approach, that's yeah. the theory, yeah. you know? That's how I see that's it. Great. Anyway, that's one. I'll show you the others <clears> as we go through the, through the days. There would be this kind of place everywhere in the world. You know, it yeah. wouldn't just be one in Porto. Yeah. There'd be the vinyl and music and cultural and guitar and rock and roll place in every, all over the world, which people would flock to. Yeah. yeah. You know, but it's just that it, it's not. It's not in the psyche of people as a business success, because it's never been a success. It's like trying to sell something which everybody now has that 
the person spent years trying to get somebody interested in and finally you did and then took off yeah but we spent 10 years yeah. with people saying no yeah you know what i mean well what i would say is everyone's going to say no but there was this little band called the beatles that were turned down 30 times uh, before <laughs> Apple signed that's right there you go Oh, see bits and pieces. This is should so be a picture Fred. in this box. You have no idea. Really? Fred has one of these too. Really? You know what that is? I do. It's a pitch. Pitch pipes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People don't use those anymore. My dad didn't Pitch pipes. Oh, look at. Oh, look at that. A church patch. God. <laughs> What's that? What the hell is that? Looks something. It looks like an. Ear? <laughs> oh yeah, there's somebody's ear in here. I don't remember whose ear that is. <laughs> That's oh, fascinating leave. stuff. Wow, oh, center of a record. Yeah. Yay! How could you not want what's in this box? Every little thing. Yeah. Yeah, what's that little yeah. wallet? Little wallet with a... Oh, look at an amp. Oh. oh, yeah, tone. No, it's, I think it's the tone from a oh. Fender Strat. That might be the original tone from my. St- oh, I don't know, maybe, because I took two, one of the tones off my Strat. That could be an original Frank Hesse bought in Liverpool tone from Fender Stratocaster. Oh, look, and the springs. The oh. springs. Is that one of the springs? No, that's too long. That could be, though. That could be. What the hell's that from? Can you hold that there, Jerry? Is that mm-hmm. there? <laughs> oh God! I'm, you know, there's one of the bolts from my neck. Look. <laughs> You've been looking for that. <laughs> Gosh, oh. hours of fun, and that's from my dad. Merseyside. What does it say across there? I've got my glasses on. County Council. County Merseyside County Council Road, Road Safety. It's from my oh checklist: brakes, lights, tires, steering. That's my dad's key ring from his work. Tires with a Y. Tires with a Y. Six black. Yeah, I'm gonna take this. Uh, can I take two more, right? Yeah. Black Rick Six and the Black Rick Twelve string. Rick Twelve black. Yeah. Right. So. Sorry, got it. Got it. Black Rick Six. Yeah, that should fit. Just fit, fit, shouldn't it? It should fit. It should fit. There you go. There you go. Which means. What is this? Four by twelve or six by ten or? Uh, I don't know which one it is because there's two. I've got two guitar amps and one bass amp. Really? Yeah, one bass cab. So I'm not sure which one that is. Much easier to carry. I just need to get under it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. You got it. We come back out. Oh, it's hang on. got the speaker's information back here. Yeah? But I can't read it. Is it in Russian? <laughs> 12 inch, it says three 12 inch speakers. Ah. Uh, Does that make sense? Yeah. I suppose. 